In this video, the ESP8266 controller is programmed as a web server displaying different data values from peripherals interfaced with the controller. A diagram of the implemented system is shown here. Connected to the ESP8266 microcontroller, some input peripherals. Connected to the digital pins, we have an infrared uh, sensor and we have a DHT11 sensor and a push button and we have a potentiometer connected to the analog input of the microcontroller. The 8266 is programmed as a web server serving a web page shown here on the browser of the client and the information displayed on this page we have a title and we have some variable values related to the input peripherals. So we have here the potentiometer voltage and we have the status of the push button whether it's on or off and we have the status of the IR whether there is an obstacle or no obstacle and the uh, temperature and humidity values coming from the DHT11 sensor. And now for a quick demo we first change the pot value and observe how the voltage changes on the web page and also note that the web page is being refreshed every one second. Now we change the status of the switch. The infrared sensor output changes when an obstacle is detected. Finally, the temperature and humidity readings are being acquired every one second. The code used in the project is shown here. These libraries are included to allow the 8266 to become a web server serving a client, the web browser, through Wi-Fi. The pointer server enables the 8266 to communicate with the browser through port 80. These four functions have been added as header files to the main code. The first uh, function returns the temperature, the second function returns the humidity, and the third function converts the integer values resulting from the analog input into voltages, and the last function here sends the web page to the web browser. The network name and the password is then passed to this part of the code which connects with the router and establishes a connection and a local IP address is generated. When the IP address is inserted on the web browser this statement is executed which calls a function HTML page which in turn displays the web page contents on the browser. Within the loop function, this statement uh, enables the 8266 microcontroller to scan for any client requests. The purpose of function HTML page is to display the peripheral data on the web page. So this part of the code is uh, to display the title of the page uh, using HTML code stored in a string called page title. In this statement the analog input is read which is an integer value and then passed to this function convert to vault. If we go to the function convert to vault the purpose is simple is just to convert the integer values into equivalent uh, voltages ranging between 0 volt to 3.25 volts and these voltages are then returned to the calling function. And then the voltage value is then stored in this string. This part of the code determines the status of the switch, whether it's on or off, and then the state is stored in this string. This part of the code checks the status of the IR sensor and accordingly stores the status in this string sensor. This statement uh, gets the temperature value by calling this function, which is this one here, and this function returns the 
temperature from the DHT11 back to the calling function. The temperature is then stored in this string. In a similar way, the humidity value is obtained by calling this function and jumping to the function, which returns the humidity from the DHT11 back to the calling function. The humidity value is then stored in this string, humidity. Finally, the server, which is the 8266, sends the values of the strings to the web page to be displayed. In future videos, I will focus on HTML programming and JavaScript to develop rich, versatile web pages served by the ESP8266 microcontroller. Thank you for watching.